Yes, he still has it. He still has it. Is there like a bug, maybe? Oh. <laughs> hey guys, so you got a video on the old fashioned hand cannon and why I think it is one of the most consistent feeling hand cannons in the game right now. So let's go over the roll. So for the site, I got true sights, and I think this is one of the best sites to go for, especially for console players. So you get a bump in range and stability and handling with no cost at all, just a slight bump in all of those stats. The magazine, I got steady rounds, this is probably my favorite option here in the magazine. Uh, particularly for console players and hit controller players, we're going to like to use uh, high stability rolls. So steady rounds is great to get a huge bump in stability. I think it's plus 15, which is really big. And a small decrease in range, which isn't too bad, but it does hurt a bit. And, and then I got a range master, which kind of makes up for that steady rounds right there. So it's, it's good. So far, the stats in this thing, a nice blend of range and stability, a little bit of everything, which is really good. And then for me, the two perks that really make this gun and make it above the other legendary hand cannons in the game is quick draw and moving target a quick draw is obvious it's really good it's very high handling it gives it a hundred handling allows you to swap to it and aim it down really fast which is good because 140s are not bad for handling but they don't have amazing handling so quick draw is great it makes you feel consistent and then moving target you get plus 10 to aim assist and you straight faster it makes it feel really consistent and sticky it's really good so this roll exactly right here guys i've tried out many old fashions and this is my favorite one by far so far it's great taking the try or comp or even quick play it's really good gun i think it actually is a little better than the dire promise hand can purely because well one really important thing for me is that the recoil direction is 100 on this hand can which is really awesome because it allows you to hit the three taps at full fire rate consistently i find that the dire promise thinking only has 84 recoil it makes it i miss that third shot sometimes it's just purely because i can't quite shoot at the full fire rate when i try to i do miss the third shot sometimes with this gun i don't find that very often as you guys can see in the clips it's always a three tap it feels like i feel like i never miss that third shot of the hand cannon so quick draw and moving target make it feel super consistent and snappy and then the blend of range stability perks or uh, stats make it feel even more consistent and, it, and it's got okay range it's not the best for range but it's just a really high stability roll with good aim assist and and really good handling i think it has a lot going for it and i personally like this hand cannon quite a bit more than the dire problem actually but uh the one drawback to this hand cannon is definitely the magazine has only got nine and that's definitely the low side but again i mostly play trials and nine is not a problem to work with at all to be honest you just gotta get a kill or two and then you gotta reload always so it, it's really good you can get three three taps in uh one mega of this gun pretty consistently honestly it's it's an incredibly nice feeling gun you guys should all try it out if you haven't yet and actually one more drawback is that this is the last season i think and it gets sunset which does kind of suck but uh I love this hand cannon a lot. It's really great. You guys should go try it out if you haven't yet. And uh, in today's gameplay, I got a 58 opponents defeated gameplay and a Wii ran as well in the gameplay of Clash, I think it was. And yeah, it's just a great game for you guys to watch. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one.
like a demon for these zones. Bring me your friends. I need more like you. 